Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2! Last time, we got trapped in a vry here, but we made our escape eventually. And, well, I just wanted to show off something here that's supposed to explain a little bit about how Claris came to the conclusions she did about the people here. So, yeah, we got the dragon tear symbol pointing to evil there. You ever see Dark Purple? They're probably working with the demons there. So, I guess that's how we're supposed to know what's going on here. I'm not sure why they're saying what they're saying there. Or it just seems rather creepy to me. I, I don't know, but it's there. So that kind of explains what I was confused about in the previous episode. But now, let's go back to where we left off in the previous episode and head to the Thieves' Tomb. It's right up there. We could have taken Nina to get up there. That might not be a bad idea if you're using her. But I'm not. And yeah, we got a new enemy here. Vulcan Rocks. These guys are weak to ice. But I don't really have anything on me that can take advantage of that. That's... Hmm. I'm thinking if maybe I should... Reorder the... No, no, we'll just leave it as is. See, I don't have Ice Blast for Aspara yet. Unfortunately, these guys are immune to status ailments, so I can't even use anything against them. They can cast Fireball, which could really hurt you. I forget what the name of the spell is in this translation. But if you get some crits, you can penetrate their defense, which is also pretty high. But otherwise, nothing we can't handle. Ooh, a fishing spot. I think there's a Manila shop there, too. But there's nothing that I really care to buy, so I didn't use one of my coins there. Oh. Well, it is a tomb. Yeah, what did you expect, buddy? Okay, new enemy, zombie feet. Or thief. These guys, well, being zombies, they are... Weak to fire and holy elemental stuff. But I'd rather just stick with the good old fire. That'll get the job done there. These guys are really fast. Well, they mean not really fast, but they're the second fastest enemy in the area. That's... Nice. Yeah, not enough firepower there. Both literally and figuratively. Oh, well. Bosh can clean up the rest. Let's see, these guys can potentially inflict the zombie status on you. Or rotting, or whatever it's called. Yeah, rotting. There it is. But I wouldn't worry about that, because you just kill them, and then you don't have to worry about it. It's not a permanent status or anything. Oh, well, evidently a thief, I would think. All right, here's another new enemy, Anubis Mummy. These guys can cast Ice Blast on you, just like, what was it? Just like their cousins earlier, I think, or maybe I'm thinking of someone else, whatever. But yeah, just like the zombie thieves, they are weak to fire and holy. But I don't think there's too much to worry about. These guys have 138 agility, which is why I have the speed shoes on Sten there. If he gets a crit with his Fire Blast spell, he can just take him out. But unfortunately, I am not getting lucky enough with that. And I probably should have healed Bosh after the last battle there, but oh well. We can finish these guys off easily enough anyway. Yeah, only Sten is going to be fast enough to get faster than those guys. Okay, let's see. Yeah, why don't you just heal yourself up there? That ought to be good enough. Hey, how's it going? Oh, well, I don't know what to tell you, pal. Okay, now with this place, nuts. we got all these pitfalls that are moving around everywhere. And I would really rather not get dropped down to the previous floor, at least not on this side. But here we get a better weapon for Aspara. Awesome. I'm going back upstairs each time because... I want to try and spawn those moving 
pitfalls out of the way of the treasures there. And it's faster to just do it this way than to wait around forever. Whoa! How did I not fall at that point? How does that even work? Now, if you had Nina in your party, if I recall correctly, they you'll just float back up here, I think. Though I haven't taken Nina here in a while. Okay, now I want to fall down. But yeah, we got the Crimson Dirk there, which is a fire elemental weapon for Sten there. So that's pretty nice. I do want to hold on to it for later. But I'm not going to equip it right now. If an enemy is weak to fire, I'll just use Fire Blast usually. So yeah, here we got a whole bunch of facial expression tiles here. And depending on which one you're stepping on, when you finish a battle, you'll get some different effect from them. I heard that with the blue tiles, you can actually get a Star Sword or Starbringer in this translation. That's a pretty good Holy Elemental weapon for Ryu. But... I think it's too random for my taste, but if you want to go for it, go nuts. Now I want to get back up here to get the treasure on this side, so that's why I wanted to drop down there. Nuts. I thought that thing was getting out of my way. Uh, the bolt gloves, by the way, they make you resistant to thunder elemental attacks, I think. How did I even drop down? I didn't even touch the thing. Let's try again. Uh-oh. No, this is not happening. Nope. Try again. Ha-ha! Gotcha! The fourth and final Sun Mask. Unfortunately, Rand can't equip it. And we've still got a mandatory section with him coming up, so... But he'll be able to survive. He'll be fine. Let's get that last treasure. Down there. Alright, we got another new enemy. These guys, I don't really know if there's anything special about them. I know they can run away. They're weak to fire and holy, just like almost everything else around here. I don't think they can even poison you, or at least I've never seen it happen. They're pretty slow and weak, so I've just never let them live long enough to do anything, so I don't know if they can poison you or probably turn you into a zombie or something, like everything else around here. I don't know. Okay, now you want to watch out for this next part with these angry faces. Well, that could have been a lot worse. Okay, phew, made it. Let's see, and I also need some healing here, so let's see what we got. Oh, Sten took a little damage, and... You know, I'm going to use a Wisdom Seed on him now, because the encounter rate down here is really high. And I'm about to heal him anyway. So, yeah, let's top you off there, just to minimize the risk of losing your Shaman form. Got uh, another Romero Brace to protect you against the rotting and zombie statuses. I will want to use the Romero Braces eventually, so make sure you hold on to those things. Okay, we made it out of there live. Very good. Now let's just head straight for the end. Uh-oh. What happens there? Oh, we just get dropped down here. Okay, well, that's not the end of the world. Better there than later. The doorway is up top there, to the next part. Please don't drop me down again. <sighs> I don't think I've ever seen that pitfall trap this many times in all my test runs combined. Give me another pitfall. Yes! Again, game. 
Maybe I should try going the other way around. Why not? Or, no. I didn't realize there were all those tiles there. Oh. Good for us, I guess. I don't, I don't really care. But okay. Oh. Darn. I, I don't really care, though. How, what happens if I don't have any money here? I don't know. Never really thought about that before now, but we're okay. You know, I'm just tired of restoring your AP, Sten. Well, fourth time's a charm, I hope. Well, on the bright side, I'm getting plenty of experience. I would still like to learn new spells for Bosch and Sten, though I think I've learned everything I care about with Aspara. She just got up to 28 there for Ice Blast. So that'll be pretty nice coming up here. But now, as you can see by the monster icon, well, there's no more random battles here. We finally made it. Looks like Patty's got herself a little stuck there, huh? Oh, uh, aren't I already on the switch? Oh, okay, never mind. I guess you can't get through those bars, huh? But we kind of need to bring you back. W with the money and all that. Oh, well, I, I don't know of any other thieves, but okay. So, what happened? Oh. Huh, that's weird. What does it even mean? What do you mean a recount? You don't vote for treasure. Oh, I guess it just steals your time, huh? Oh. I guess, evidently. Oh, maybe, I don't know. It didn't seem that big to me. Oh. And what happens if we press it? We get a secret passage. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks. It's nice that you're so concerned for us. Hey, all right. I'm not sure why that is, but okay, we'll take what we can get. Oh, okay. Shouldn't we be bringing you with us, though? How did you even get past all those monsters anyway on the way here? I don't know. But for some reason, we can't warp out of there from the... No enemy encounters room, so we gotta go out here, then we can warp out of there. Now we need to get back to Kodo, but in order to do that, we need to have Lin back in our party. How are we doing with our conditions, anyway? Okay, yeah, for some reason I just didn't think I was getting that many crits. Okay, so yeah, let's get back there, get Lin back in our party, and, okay, they got the funding now. I'm not really sure what they needed it for or why we're helping them out. Shouldn't we be, I, I don't know, trying to do something about Ava and stuff? Okay, well, anyway, yeah, let's get, yeah, Lynn and Aspara there so that way I can still warp around. But I do need Lynn at the front to get back into the place. I guess they just replace the boulders every time someone comes and goes. I mean, they do kind of live it on the edge of a, well, it looks like a mountain in the place, although whatever. But, like, on the world map, it just looks like an open area, but inside it looks like there's some Oh, okay, there is a little bit of a mountain around there. Okay, I stand corrected. Well, good thing we have Lynn to get us through this place again. 
Oh, right, yeah, we already talked to you. Hmm, I wonder who she told it to, or sold it to. Eh, it's probably not important. Don't ask where the money came from. No, seriously, there's... No, there's not, no importance to that. Ah, who's Manson? That's the first time I've heard of that name. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Oh, right, right. Ah, Habok? Habok? I don't know how you pronounce the guy's name. But we already know that they're evil. What do we need to expose them for? Ah. Well, she was kind of stuck in a ride there. Hmm. I don't. I mean, she could have just come out after us, I guess. I, I don't know. But alright, we got the money. So now what do we do? Hey, all right. Aren't we going to be doing the fighting for them? Okay. How much do you hate the Romans? I mean, uh, Evry. What's going on here? Uh, okay. This... Well, that escalated quickly. This isn't really the time for this sort of thing. We just want to kick ass and take names. Say what? Well, you're about to. Yeah, we kind of just met. Oh. Um. Yeah, I suppose. Haven't seen any other Warrens around. It is your density. <laughs> Why are you hiding behind Ryu? Okay. Well, you're about to. Yeah, what's going on? To do what? What do you need to challenge me for a duel? I didn't say anything. I'm just standing here, an innocent bystander. Now, all of a sudden, something's going on. Ha 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 ha. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I was like, wait, what happened to the music there? What happens if I... What is it? Yeah, she is telling the truth. I was confused there. It's like, I thought they were saying, yes, she is my girlfriend, but... No, I don't have any objections there. Ah. Okay, well, that's it. So... What happens if I say otherwise? Either time you uh, disagree or you agree, you get boss time against Tigger. Like Tigger? Like Winnie the Pooh? Not again. Not again! I'm gonna get my ass kicked by a guy in a Tigger suit. <laughs> but yeah, in this fight, there's nothing you can do. You're gonna lose this fight no matter what. I'm not really sure what the point of this is, but... Well, I guess it's a nice little diversion. Maybe I should have just gone auto battle or something. But, yeah, don't worry about it. Just get through it and move on. Yeah, I just brutally murdered your leader. But, yeah, we're going to go to the Robe Chapel? 
Why are we going there? Shouldn't we be going to Evry? That's where the cathedral is. I was going to say, why are you sleeping outside like that? But you're cat people, so I suppose that works. Well, you did. Oh. Yeah, I mean, just look at Ryu. He doesn't say a word. And gets into a lot of trouble because of that, evidently. But, yeah, we, we kind of have other priorities, like demons... You know, ma or masquerading all over the world, and kidnappings, and, well, something's going on here. Yeah, I don't get it either, Tiger Or Tiga. Oh, well, I'm not going to use her. So if you want to take her along, you can go do that. Well, all right. Where did Lynn go? Oh, okay. Well, there you have it. Oh, okay. Yeah, let other people fight your battles for you. But why are we going to the Road Chapel anyway? Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.